Hello everyone and welcome back to Silverfish Hammer Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to create fog for your levels in the source engine. Okay, so first create the entity here in the entity tool and uh, the entity you want to create is the env underscore fog underscore controller entity. Place that right there, alt enter to enter its properties and as usual we have the name, dx level stuff, pitch your role, that's pretty basic stuff, almost every entity has it. And then we have the fog enable property. We want to set that to yes, of course, because we want to enable the fog for our level. And then we have a bit of a bit more advanced settings here. The fog blend use angles for fog dir, secondary fog color and primary fog directions. Those are for more advanced usage and uh, I want to go through those in this tutorial. But I will go through the primary fog color which yeah, it's what it says it is. It's the fog color for your level. I'm going to set that to a nice bluish color there. And then we have the fog start and fog end properties, which dictate at what distance your fog will start and stop um, showing up, basically. So between these two distances, the fog will fade from nothing to your maximum density, uh, which you can set here. So if you have that set to one, the maximum density, uh, if it is set to maximum density, if it if something is at 2000 distance, it will show up as this color, as your primary fog color. Uh, yeah, I hope that makes sense at least. If you set this to 0 0.5, the max density, the maximum density of the fog will be half of uh, the default value. Okay, and uh, then we have interpolate time, don't know what that is actually, and then we have the var z clip plane which sh um, it's the distance at which it will stop rendering any geometry. So you can use this entity st to stop gen rendering geometry at a certain distance to optimize your level. Okay, but it's kind of hard to know what to set these settings to without knowing how it looks in the game and it's very annoying having to change these settings, go compile the map, go into the game, see how it looks, how it didn't look good, so I change the settings again, etc, etc, go back and forth. It it would take like 30 seconds for each change, but, but luckily you can change this inside of the game. So bring up your game, go into uh, your console and uh, then you type fog underscore override one. You might need to set SV sheets to one, though I didn't have to do that. You might want to set SV pure pure to zero as well, but I never have to do that, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so fog underscore override one. Now we can use the console to change how the fog looks in our level. So what I'm going to change first is fog uh, max density. I'm going to set that to one. Now everything is black because Fog start and end uh, is set to uh, minus one, which equals to zero. Okay. Uh, and the color is set to minus one, minus one, minus one. The color is a red, green, blue value, RGB. And uh, that uh, is the same as having zero, 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 so it's black. Okay, so that's why everything is black. To, so to change everything so that it's not black, we set fog end to, oops, end to like, thousand for instance. Now you see it fades from not being fog to being fog uh, far over there. And that's what we wanted. Now we can change the color as well. Let's say I want the color I set here. You can just set the color here and then you copy this value. Copy and then go back into the game. And it's at fog underscore color and then you paste that and press enter. And there you have my fog color. Awesome, awesome stuff. You can of course set the fog start um, to something as well, like 100 perhaps, if you want to do that. That's really cool. And um, yeah, so just play around with the values, try to get something that you'd like. To make it look good, I usually get like a bluish color like this. This is magenta or turquoise or something like that almost. I don't know. And then I set the fog end to Let's see, fog and to something like 10,000 if it's a small level. And I like to set fog max density to 0 0.5. That's usually pretty good for me. But you can, of course, play around with this and get, you know, a fog that works for your level. And then when you have changed everything to what you want, you just look in the console to see the latest values of everything. So max density 0 0.5. I just set the fog max density to 0 0.5 right here. 0, 0 0.5, yes indeed, and 
Then we have uh, fog end, 10,000. Fog end, I set that to 10,000. And then we have fog start, I have that set to 100. No, not 500, 100. There we go. And that's all there is to it. Now the fog is enabled, we have the color, we have the start, the end, and the max density that we want. And so we can just click apply. And then when we compile the map, our fog will look like it does right here. You see in the distance there, it's kind of bluish and uh, close to us. It's not kind of bluish. So there you go. Now when you're changing the fog for your 3D skybox though, it's a different story. Um, it's very uh, similar though. You just go to your sky camera. So this, let's pretend this is the sky camera for my level, my 3D skybox. By the way, click that link right there in the top left corner to go to the tutorial where I, where I show you how to make a 3D skybox. Uh, okay, but here you have the fog enable, you said that yes of course, you have the primary and uh, primary fog color there and fog start and fog end and uh, there you have it. That's where you set those settings, you can just copy those over to here or whatever you want to do from your fog controller. And uh, that's all there is to it. When you have uh, compiled your map and you want to check your fog out, uh, just to make sure that everything is working as intended, set fog override to zero again, so that you won't override the fog that you have uh, in your level by default. So that's all there is to it. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope you learned something useful in this tutorial, and I'll see you uh, some other time. Remember to subscribe if you're on YouTube, right above, and if you're on ModDB, you can click the... Um, the eye icon below to follow me and receive updates when I post new tutorials. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.